How's it going YouTube? Spec and Auto is back with another episode of MAV today. Um, today's been a pretty big day. Um, not just for me, but uh, also for my mother. So, uh, basically my mom found a new car today. So uh, she's getting rid of her 2008 Honda Civic. And she's getting a 2015 Acura RDX technology package. So, very fancy car that she's getting super nice um i'm really excited for her but i'm also excited for myself because yeah you guys guessed it that means i got a new car too um don't worry the uh, four-door civic isn't going anywhere i still have it it's at home i'm currently at my mom's right now because you know we just did this whole thing dealing with the cars today um going to the bmv and things like that but uh enough less talk and let's look at this my new to me 2008 Honda Civic LX Coupe and uh, you guys are probably thinking well, I've seen this car before well it's because this car has been on the channel before um, probably about two three years ago I did a car review video for the 2008 Honda Civic LX Coupe and this was the car featured in the video and now it's mine so yep this is all mine uh, I got both keys with me so uh, this is going to be the key for this car, and then I got the key for my sedan. But uh, let's go ahead and take a little tour. The interior is really dirty. I just got it today, so that's why it's not clean. It's not detailed yet. Um, unfortunately, lots of uh, cigarette ash, uh, cigarette burn holes here and there. Uh, because my mom's a smoker, so that's why. But, uh, yeah, lots of cigarette ash everywhere. So I will be cleaning this car out. I'll be giving it a deep detail. And, uh, I'll do methods to uh, deodorize the car and get that cigarette smell out of it. It does smell a little bit like cigarettes, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, it's in really good shape. And the miles are really low compared to the, uh, the four-door that I own. So uh, let's go ahead, start her up, and show you what it looks like. So, it uh, has 146,000 miles right now. And, of course, in typical reliable Honda fashion, no check engine light. So, uh, <laughs> just before I took ownership of this car, as a matter of fact, um, my mom actually put thousands and thousands of dollars of work into this thing. Um, so I guess there was some type of uh, computer or something under the gear selector that went bad. So it was causing the transmission to jerk and have issues like that. So she took that to Honda. Honda fixed it so it's good as new. That's taken care of. It's uh, in the last six months, it's got the cabin air filter replaced, which I might replace that again because this was a smoker's car at some point. And then uh, there's the engine engine filter that has also been replaced. Um, the whole AC system's been replaced, so it has a brand new AC compressor, and of course, the AC's been recharged. Um, unfortunately, there's no filo vision on camera, but I promise you the AC is ice cold and I freaking love it as a matter of fact uh I was driving on the way here and uh it was really really cold to the point where I had to turn it down to like low <laughs> so uh there's that now we can take a look under the hood uh before we do that I can show you uh both windows work perfectly they both go up and down as they should I always like to put my window down, even if the car won't lock itself. It's, you just never know. But anyway, let's open this hood here. Let me uh, put you guys here. Alright, so uh, like I said, had a new air filter put in not long ago. It has a brand new Honda OEM battery put in it in the last uh, several months. So this is a few months old. This should have an 8 year warranty on it. Yeah, 100 month limited warranty, so that's nice. So if anything ever happens to that, guess what? I can get a, I can get a replacement. 
because I can just take my mom with me to the dealership and, and you know make play make believe that that's still her car and you know she can get me a new battery. Um. Uh oh. There's a problem here, guys. Uh, maybe I should shut this car off. Whew. This is an interesting way to introduce the new car. All right. <laughs> well, let's just add that to the list, huh? Um. Yeah, that's a problem. Whoa. I'm glad I found this. My belt is uh, my belt is ripping. Not good. Uh, shit. I'm gonna have to get a new serpentine belt. <laughs> um, okay. Well, at least I got the car for free. That's right, guys. Uh, I didn't pay anything for the car, so. Woohoo! Free car! But, uh, fuck it. It's fine. No big deal. Worst case scenario, I can just get it hauled home because I do have AAA, thankfully. Uh, AAA Platinum membership. Woohoo! But I guess uh, we can keep talking about the upgrades, or fixes, rather. Um, like I said, brand new AC compressor, AC system's been all fixed. Works great. And then they just recently put a brand new alternator in. Alternator's brand new. And of course, uh, over here, we got this uh, crankshaft seal, so, uh, this crankshaft seal right here, this little circle. That gasket's been replaced as well. So that's brand new. So, uh, there's been a lot that's been put into this car. Um, there is, I believe, well, I think that's, I think that gasket's still good. But I know for a fact it looks like there might be, there might be an oil leak somewhere in here. I'm guessing maybe valve cover gasket might need replaced sometime soon. Um, might have another repeat of this gasket one of these days if it's not already leaking. I mean, it looks pretty dirty. So, I don't know, I don't see like a whole lot of sludge in the area, so that one might might be okay for now. But it uh, looks like I'm going to have to add a new serpentine belt to the list, unfortunately. Which kind of sucks, but, oh well, it's a free car, I didn't pay anything for it. I just paid for the title transfer, and I just paid for the, uh, the registration and tag to put on the back of the car to make it road legal. So, uh, yeah, great. That's okay. No big deal. I'm glad I saw it when I did. Um, it looks like this is the piece of the belt. Um, so I don't know if I could fully trust going home with this belt being half ripped. Um, well, I mean, it made it this far. Maybe it'll make it back home. I live about seven minutes away from here cross my fingers that God's on my side I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get a serpentine belt for this thing so that's great um, fortunately serpentine belts for this car isn't expensive wow this is gonna be a lot longer of a video than I was originally anticipating I did not expect to find the uh, serpentine belt to be half shredded um, that's a bit of a concern but anyway 2008 Honda Civic Ooh. um you guys might be wondering, uh, well, why did why did your mom give you this car for free? She could have sold it or traded it in, because I mean you're you're looking at a car that's worth a couple thousand dollars at least. Um, she told me you know she's not gonna get anything out of it. Trade ins are usually worthless, and you know she's not gonna get anything for it. And I guess she was saying that I helped her so much with the fixes over the years and things like that that she thought that I deserved to have it because uh, like I said she upgraded to a 2015 Acura RDX so she has no use for this anymore she's got a nice car now so but I got this nice car too it's been great um, hopefully it'll make it home all right guys so uh, we're now in the uh, truck uh, my mom's taking us to uh, the Honda dealership because uh, we have the service history of this car and it happens to be uh, back in February of 2023, so a year and a half ago, they just put a brand new serpentine belt in there and it's already shredded. So clearly they did something wrong. So uh, she's taking us to the uh, dealership right now. She's going to complain and uh, 
hopefully we come back with an update with some good news. Stay tuned, okay? All right, guys, uh, here's to another update. So uh, basically what happened is that the uh, dealership wants us to drive the car to the dealership to drop it off. Um, they gave us an envelope to uh, stick our keys in and write some information down, like the mileage and stuff. Um, but I guess it's going to sit here overnight when we drop the car off. And then they're going to take a look at it. They're going to see if it was something that, you know, they put the belt on wrong when they put the AC compressor in. Or if the pulleys are out of uh, out of alignment or whatever. Um, they said if the, if the belt was put on wrong, they will replace it free of charge. Um, if it's something wrong with the pulleys, then they said they would charge us if we were to proceed with uh, repairs. So I guess we'll find out. Um, so stay tuned again. All right guys, so uh, Honda told us that the uh, car should be safe enough to drive from the house to the dealership. So uh, that's what we're doing now um, when we get there. We're gonna be sticking our keys in the handy dandy envelope there and putting it into the overnight drop off box. So uh, that's kind of the plan for now. I got a feeling that Honda is going to try to pull a fast one and be like, oh no, you're, something's wrong with your pulleys. Now you're gonna have to pay for it. If they do that, I'm gonna pull the car out and I'm gonna take it back home and I'm gonna replace that serpentine belt myself. It's just, if I get the opportunity to get a free belt replacement from Honda, I'm gonna do it. But if they try to pull a fast one, then yeah, I'll go ahead and spend the extra, you know, 20, 30, 40 bucks on a serpentine belt and uh, go, go with that and just put it in myself. I mean, why not? I'm in no hurry to, it's not like I have to have this car with me to go anywhere because, I mean, I have another Civic at home, obviously. So, I'm fine with dropping this off overnight and having them mess with it tomorrow. Let's just hope for the best. I mean, this is freaking nuts, guys. Literally, let's see, literally four hours, just four hours of having this vehicle into my name being mine day one four hours i'm already <laughs> i'm already dropping this thing off at the dealership overnight for a freaking repair that is just freaking crazy dude that is insane all right guys i'm back again good update y'all really good update this time i'm actually surprised um they replaced the belt free of charge so it turns out all the pulleys were straight so there was no BS excuse from them or nothing. So they replaced the belt. So there's a brand new serpentine belt in there now, free of charge. No one paid a damn uh, cent except for Honda. It's their fuck up, so of course. So uh, now I got the car back and uh, I'm gonna drive it home and it'll be back home for the very first time. See y'all in the next clip. All right, guys, so the new Honda has finally made it back home for the first time. Here she is in all her glory. And then we can uh, open up the car. As you guys just saw in the last clip, obviously, it runs and drives very fabulously. Still smells of cigarettes, but we'll address it and take care of it. But uh, as you guys can see now, that, to my friends is a brand new Honda OEM uh, serpentine belt. So yeah, it's looking uh, it's looking pretty freaking new under here at this point. Um, I'm not sure what all I want to do with this, to be honest. <laughs> a lot of people on my Facebook group think I'm going to be like doing a lot of heavy modifications and stuff on it like I did with my four-door, but to be honest with you, I'm not really all that interested in really changing it that much at all. There's some things I want to do with it. I really want to prioritize the uh, the rust issues that this thing has. There's a few little rust spots uh, forming here and there. I just want to give it like a little quick sanding and a quick uh, spot paint. See the rust is starting to form just a little hair on this side so it's not as bad. And then there's a little spot right here. And uh, other than that, just a few little tiny rust spots that need patched up, and it's all good to go. Um, 
Believe it or not, this actually isn't the uh, original paint to the car. It's actually uh, been resprayed before uh, my mom took ownership of it. I'm assuming by the uh, the car lot she bought it from. But uh, here I can kind of show you guys here and there. Um, there's, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like little running spots here and there. because It was a pretty shitty paint job. the truck pass but uh <laughs> yeah there's some uh, little runny spots here and there from the uh half-assed uh, respray it was a victim of the uh clear coat issue that these cars are known to have but this one has been solved as you can see there's a little running spot there and a running spot there but it's not a big deal i mean it's it's not super easy to notice unless you're like really up on it well, obviously all around though it looks pretty decent not too bad looks definitely cleaner than the paint on my car which is pretty bad but at least the paint on my car is original um so this damage right here on the bumper about a few months ago um my stupid neighbor not not my neighbor here but my mom's stupid neighbor that was an uninsured hit her and uh yeah so she couldn't get it fixed because uh, the insurance company denied it, so it's just kind of there. And, uh, of course, a big history of this car. It's actually a rebuilt salvage title. Um, it's because this side got smashed, like, many years ago. Well over six, seven years ago. So, uh, this driver's side door actually has been replaced. Um, they did a decent job at, uh... <laughs> freaking restickering it and all that but uh well, actually this isn't even restickered so this is the these are the original stickers from the door from the parts car i'm assuming that's the vin for the donor car too but uh you guys can barely see it but this door was originally blue you can especially notice it inside this door handle here it almost looks like it's uh fuji blue so i wonder if it's possible that this uh, door came from a Civic Si. It could have been from a Civic Si. So that's interesting. Um, it definitely had black interior according to this. I'll have to look up the VIN and see if that was from an Si. But yeah, so this door's been replaced. But I mean, other than that, there's no like structural damage or anything that would indicate it was ever in a collision. So that's good. There is a little tiny bit of... Uh, surface rust starting here so that's gonna have to get addressed as well as the rust that uh there and here the wheel arches as i mentioned but uh yeah this thing's all mine now for free well the overall price is free but it was like a uh, hundred and some dollars between getting the title switch to my name getting it registered and getting a tag on it and uh i didn't get the uh 2025 sticker because 2025 is six months from now well, at least my birthday is so it'd be pointless to go back right away in six months to uh get another sticker right away so i paid a little extra to get the uh, 2026 sticker so this car will be registered and road legal for the uh, next uh, year and a half um so i'll be doing a uh i might be doing a uh, sedan versus coupe video here soon so uh stay tuned for that but uh, yeah, this thing's been really, really good. Obviously, it's going to need a lot of cleaning up. The rust things are going to need to get addressed. Uh, some of these uh, stickers are going to have to go. I might get. I'm going to be getting a new spec of auto sticker, so that'll come off too. But like all the stickers from here down, they're going to be gone. Uh, this sticker I'm going to shave off too because I don't give a shit about this guy to be honest. I'm just kidding. I do give a shit, but. I'm just gonna take the sticker off. Um, the eighth gen Honda Civic Not SI Club, that sticker will of course stay. So, yep, so here it is guys in all of its glory back home. 2008 Honda Civic LX Coupe. It's pretty clean, believe it or not. I mean, it just needs to get a nice detail and deep cleaning of the seats and the rugs, or carpets rather. But uh, yeah, like I mentioned earlier, it's not bad not too bad at all 
Um, unfortunately, this headliner is also sagging, just like in my sedan. So, uh, that'll probably never get addressed, but it might get addressed eventually, depending on how much I like this vehicle. Of course, glove box and everything's the same. So, yep, there's that. Same uh, 1.8 engine, the R18 in my sedan is in this as well. So it's the same exact car, but this one actually feels a lot more peppy and spirited because uh, this one doesn't have 274,000 miles. Oh, that's a lot of miles. And the sedan feels pretty fucking tired sometimes. Uh, this feels very lively still. So this uh, car, I wouldn't even consider it really broken in yet, honestly. Um, I might replace this driver's seat at some point. Because now that I'm looking at it, this passenger seat is perfectly good. There's no holes in it. There's no tears. Unfortunately, this driver's side is a victim of a tear in the bolster. And plus, uh, unfortunate cigarette burn. Um, I might not do anything about the carpet, to be honest. Uh, these rugs, these, car these floor mats, honestly. I don't know. I might end up throwing those mats away. I don't know yet. Uh, comment down below. Do you think I should keep these Civic mats? Or should I just throw them in the garbage? Because uh, they're well over six years old now. Alright guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, tell me your thoughts on this 2008 Honda Civic LX Coupe. I honestly never expected to get this car given to me. But alas, my mom got a beautiful Acura today. So uh, she got that nice luxury car now. And I got this nice little second go around spare car i suppose slash fun project <laughs> so uh yeah i'm not sure what the plans are for this vehicle yet i do mostly want to leave it how it is because it's a lo pretty low mileage and it's perfectly fine so yeah uh please like the video share the video with your friends and family and as always hit that like button and uh, hit the bell icon to get notified of each video upload Till next time stay safe out there see y'all later When you're revving hard, then you're living fast, then you're living fast, and we'll take this ride.